Hello. So my name's Ella. Um, I'm going to be doing a hit the bar workout with you. So if you've not tried hit the bar before, it is ballet inspired exercises in a hip format. So we work for 45 seconds, you then have a 15 second recovery time and then we repeat, well we don't repeat those same exercises but we do different exercises. So all together you have got four blocks. You are going to need um, something that you can rest on like a bar or like a makeshift bar. So that ideally would be something like a high dining chair, high back dining chair that you can rest your hands on. But otherwise it could be um, just like a countertop, it could be a table, failing that, just a little bit of space on the wall, just for a little bit of balance and support. In this workout here, we're gonna do a 45 minute workout and you have only got one section where you are gonna need like a bar, okay? So we'll start off with a warm up. The majority of exercises I will give you different levels so if you want to keep it that little bit lower and perhaps not as jumpy with some exercises then you can but if you want to work a bit harder then you can also. I hope you enjoy it. I'm just going to put my music on and then we'll get going. Okay, so to start off with warming up, maybe bring your feet together Give your shoulders a roll by bringing them up, back and down. Let's just quickly think about our posture. Squeezing up through our thighs, engaging our glutes and our abdominals. The breastbone is forward, shoulders are back and down, chin off the chest, lift through the crown of your head. Start to open and close the feet, out and in. So this turn out, it's not just coming from the toes, you want your knees and your hips to be opening as well. So as the hips open, try and engage into your buttocks. Well done. Keep these going. Four, three, two. Leave your toes turned out. Lift your heels up, down. So with these here, we are squeezing up into the calves and into the thighs. At different points in the class, you will be coming up into a releve where you lift your heels. But if this lift doesn't suit you, if it bothers your feet or your ankles, you can keep your heels down on the floor. If you choose to lift, it might just be a kitten heel, or it might be that you come higher into the stiletto. Let's add some arms. Up, down. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Softening through the elbows. Keep going. Chin away from your chest. Well done. Do four more here. Four. Three. Keep squeezing. Hold the arms up. Double time. Up and down. Lovely. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Step your legs wider. Start to plie. Down and up. With arms you can lift. So this is a plie in second position. You can see your knees are going out towards your little toes, they're not creeping forward. Let me just show you sideways. When we plie, we don't want to stick our bottom out. Okay? You want to try and imagine that you're sliding your back down a wall. Thinking shoulders back and above the hips. Just go a little bit quicker, pulsing, down, little ones. Four, three. Bend and tap to the side, down and tap. That's good. So we're going to start warming up into the legs a little bit more. Trying to lift the heart rate a little bit higher. A little bit deeper if you can. Bigger bend. And also, if you find that the speed of this is a bit too quick for you, you go at your own pace. Let's release the arms. Bring in a twist. Got a little rotation, turn through the body, shoulders and hips. Well done. Four, three. Start to lift the arms just for about shoulder level here. The wrists are soft. Keep going. Another four. Bring the arms in and out now. Pull your shoulders back. Open through the chest. Keep going. Eight more. Four, three, two. Arms come up. Following your hands. Looking up towards your hands. Keep going. Eight. Six. Four, three, two. Come down low. That's 
that low twist. Four more here. Bigger with the arms. Now let's go back to our legs. Can you go bigger? In and out. Four more. Higher. We're going to do those again. Another round with eight. Take it low. Twist. Follow the hands. Four, three, in and out. Pull back, shoulders back, chest open. Lift it up. Four, three, let's cut down now. Go down for four, low twist. Bit bigger. In and out. Good, good. Up and down. One more time. Go low. Bigger arms. In and out. Up and down. Tap forward leg. You can be upright or bend into your supporting leg. Little reach forward. Good. Toes and lengthen the leg as you extend it. Keep going here, guys. Eight, four, six, four, three, two. Bring your legs wide. Feet wide, toes come down. Little pulse. Have your hands on your thighs for now. Well done. Now I'd like you to slowly bend. Shift your body weight over to right and then the other way side to side you can leave your hands on your hips if you're happy going lower hands to the floor you get that nice stretch along the inside of your thighs hips and thighs are going to get a lot of work come into the center just straighten through your legs Roll yourself back up to standing, release your shoulders. Now I'm just going to get our music to where we want it for the uh, main component of the class. And then we'll get going with that. Okay, so we've got about 30 seconds, so that gives me time to run through your first couple of exercises. Starting off here in second position, you're going to do two pulses and then you're going to turn to the side. So either side, okay, we're going to keep that going for four to five seconds. Your next exercise, you're going to bring this leg behind, your back heel off the floor, feet and knees turned out, and you're going to do three pulses down and then you're going to sweep the leg forward. That's move one and two. Start move one, pulse here, turn, pulse through the centre and turn the other way. You can use your arms if you like, you don't have to do arms. There's nothing fancy about the arms, you don't even have to do this, you can do what you want. But if doing arms and legs is a little bit too much, just focus on your legs. Well done. We're going to go quicker, singles now. Open, turn, and keep pushing into the heel of your foot. If this is too quick, go that bit slower. You're almost there. In four, three, two, well done, rest. So now this leg here is behind. You've got your back heel off the floor, feet and knees turned out. Three pulses down, and then your back In leg four, kicks forward. Three, Ready? Go. Three, two, one, sweep. So if you like, you can reach opposite arm to leg. If the lift is too much, just a little lift or even just a tap. Three, two, big or small. Down, down, down. Reach. Can you do singles here? 
down, up, or down, tap. Squeeze into this leg when you come up as well. Put your toes, you're nearly there. In four, three, two, one. And rest it, yes. well done. Legs wide here, we're gonna go side to side over the top. Use whatever space you've got available. In four, Ready? Three, Side to side, go. Go over the top. Do it again. Side to side and over. Now you can keep it low, little step taps through the middle or big. Whatever you want to go with. Big is obviously going to lift your heart rate up that bit higher. Well done. Just got a couple more. And then we get rid of this sway. Just go through the middle, over the top. And we're going to lift. Lift the leg. One, two, three, lift. Well done. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. And rest it there. Well done. We're repeating those same three again. So from the beginning, you had your... Double Get pulse. Ready. We're going to go In this four, way first of all. Three, two, Down for two. Turn. Do it again. Now let's think. Pushing into the heels a little more this time. Knees wide. Well done. Draw your abdominals in. Bring your belly button in towards your backbone. Knees press out to the little toes. Doubles. Let's go with our singles. Open, turn, open, turn. Keep it that little bit deeper if you can. Warming up into your legs. Nearly there. In four, three, two, so, second exercise. This leg behind. Back heel lifted. Three pulses. And then you'll sweep through. Option four, to tap. Three, two, Here we go. One. Three, two, one. Lift. So if you can find yourself a spot on the wall to focus on, that's going to help you to balance. As well as that, pull in your belly button. Navel to spine. Option, remember, is your tap. If you struggle lifting, it's too much on your hips. Working but just with a tap. Singles here. Down, lift, down, lift. Knees turn out as you come down. Reach, down, reach. All those there. Four, three, two, one. And rest. Good job. You're on that sway this time. So let's go over this way, isn't it? <laughs> side to side. Get ready. Are you ready? Side to side first, let's start low and over. So you can step it through the middle if you like. Or with me. Bigger. One, two, over the top. Side, side, over. Keep it going. Big or small, your workout. Your choice. Just go over the top. Lift the back leg. When you lift, squeeze into your glutes. Keep your abdominals drawn in. Almost there. Three, two, one. Excellent work. Right, second block then. Little cardio one again. Heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. Chasse from four, three, two, this leg. One. Heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. Chasse, chasse, chasse. Or heel, toe, heel. Heel, wiggle the waist. Chasse. Could be low if you prefer. See how much movement you can get into your hips. And again, heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. Feel it in the waist on that rotation. Heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. Chest. It's a nice fun 
one, isn't it? Heel, toe, heel. Four chassis. You're doing well. One more time. In four, three, two, one. And West. rest. So this leg here, we're going to bring it behind into a curtsy. Tap to the side. Forward, back heel off the floor. And then a tap. Four, three, so behind first two, of all. One. Down, tap. Forward, tap. Knees and feet rotated out. If you like, use your arms. Down, open. Down, open. How low you go with that bend is up to you. Whatever leg is the back leg, you are the healer. And if you'd like, you lift out to the side. Down, lift. Stay balanced, find your spot again, focus. Use your abdominals to help balance. Nearly there. Four, three, two, one. And rest it, good. This leg, I'm just going to turn to the side. You're going to go down. Three, two, one. We're not going to lift that leg behind. Alright? Three pulses back. Three, two, one, three. Opposite arm to the back leg. You can let it reach forward. Stretch. Three. Now when you go forward, your hips tip down. Try not to twist them to the side. Two, one. Well done. Those same three again. Can you remember your first one? On the other leg first. Heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. Here we go. Heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. So you can wiggle as much as you like there. Now on those chassis, if you want to keep it low, a step touch is fine. If you want to go big, let's make it Find 
you've got your swan lake, your moment to be that prima ballerina on the stage. Beautiful arms up. Ready, bend the knees, arms down. Lift your heels. Down and rise. As you lift, squeeze. Calves and thighs. Chin off your chest. Well done. Just do one more like that. Now we're going to do it quicker. Down, lift, down, lift. Follow your hands, looking up to your hands. Beautiful, graceful arms. And rest it there. Bring it in. Into first position, heel together, toes out. You're going to do your little plie, and then you'll reach across. Slowly, first of all, guys. Three, two, one. Down, and reach. Down, and reach. You get that nice stretch over. So I'm just going to very quickly pause whilst I set you up at the bar, or the chair, or the table, or the wall, whatever it is you are using to help you with your balance. Okay, well these, are, these ones are going to get your legs for sure. Now again, we're up in a releve as long as your feet are okay with that. You can do this with your heels down if you've got problems with your ankles or around your feet. Or they perhaps after everything you've done, they're just burning and they are not want to do it. So <laughs> heels up if you can. We're going to have two little mini pulses without sticking our bum out. The leg that is furthest from the chair then goes forwards. And then you're bringing it in and then you're stepping it back again. Your second exercise, we've got some side crunches. Let me just face you for these. So we're bringing it in. Now if you just do your knee, you're going to burn out with your hips. So as you bring it in, crunch into the waist so let your head go across with you as you do those ones okay so first ones feet together heels lifted let's get ready to go get ready okay so nice and tall shoulders back pull forward bring it in step back yes so the legs aren't straight in keeping them bent. The one that often feels it the most is the one that is closest towards the chair. Yeah, keep going just as you are. And at that halfway marker, which is now, singles, in, forward, in, back. Well done, keep it going. How are those thighs feeling? I know mine are feeling warm, I hope you use up yours as well. Three, two, one, and rest it there. <laughs> so now our curtsy. Leg furthest from the chair is out, arms up. We're going to crunch in for two and reach away for two. Ready, knee comes wide. Crunch and reach. Bringing your head across with you. Close in the space between your hips. Your Let's go with some singles. In, reach, in, reach. Keep going, nice and wide. Crunch, crunch. Three pulses. Three, two, one. 
um, so now here, feet together, hit or heels together, up to a releve if you can, and we're going to plie without sticking bum out. Go down, two counts, slowly rise. Can you press your heels together? Slide in your back as though you're sliding down a wall. When you pull up, squeeze your inner thigh muscles. Pull your thigh muscles away from your kneecaps. Chin away from the chest. Lift tall. Pulse it. Three, two, one. Up. Three, two, one. Press your heels a little bit more firmly together. Just pulse it down. Three, four, three, two, one. And release. Let's same three on the other side, then that's it. Well, for your legs. Now we've got abdominals. A little stretch. Get ready. Done. Right. Three, heels four, up. Three, Feet close two, together. Bend one. the knees. Two pulses. Go forward. The leg that is stepping forward and back. One that is furthest away from the chair. Abdominals drawn in, breastbone forward, chin off the chest. Well done. Remember, if it's too much, you can lower your heels down. You're bending the knees, keeping it low, but trying to do it without sticking your bum out. Ready for your singles. In, forward, in, back. Lovely. Oh, that thigh by the chair, it should be warm. In four, three, two, one. Rest it there, good job. <laughs> Into our waist, reaching up. We're going to start slow. Two counts with Get that crunch. In four, three, Bring it nice two, and wide, lean across. In for two, reach for two. Your head come across with you. Let's have singles. In, reach, in, reach. Yeah, keep going with these ones. Go 
down and twist, roll down, twist. Your and training down, starts down. in four, three, two, one. Here we go then. Down, two, three, four, and roll yourself up again. If you find that it's too much on your hips with your knees bent, see how you feel with your legs straight. Let's engage your abdominals as we roll it down and then back up again. You go as low as you can go with control without having to throw yourself back up. Do it for two. Down and lift. Down and up. Relax the shoulders. Elbow to stop. In four, three, two, one. Well done. I'm going to face you. So let's have our hands slightly clasped or fingers linked ever so slightly. You can be sitting more upright or leaning back. We're going to slowly twist. Right and left. Following the arms with your eye gaze. Side to side. Smooth and controlled. Engage your navel to spine. Front. 
back extensions. Arms can rest on the floor, they can be in the lower back, or fingers in the temples. In four, Two counts, lift two, slowly up. One. Well done. 